Eco Training presents Birds of the Bush for twitchers and amateur birders. Each episode will teach you about a different bird found in the African bush. In today's episode of Birds of the Bush, we're going to look at woodpeckers. Here is a piece of wood and it's got this thick bark on the outside and living underneath the bark are a whole range of different kinds of creatures that eat away at this dead wood. Now, some creatures cannot get in there, so those little insects are safe, but woodpeckers have ways of getting inside there and making a meal of the little insects that live under here. So a woodpecker will fly up to this log and they have special feet with two forward pointing claws, two backward pointing claws that enable them to move up and down a tree very easily and quickly. The woodpeckers will tap fast, much, much faster than I'm going now. And they will hear exactly where those insects are and then rip away the bark, tap through. And with that special barbed tongue that they've got, they'll actually be able to hook out little larvae, wood boring beetles, maybe small spiders. There's a whole ecosystem underneath the bark that woodpeckers are able to get into and enjoy. Bennett's woodpecker, which is unusual, they spend about 85% of their time on the ground and retreat to the trees for safety and they like to nest in trees as well. But most of their time is spent finding ants, termites, beetles and that sort of thing that live on the ground, maybe just underneath the ground. And they often pair up with starlings to do that work a bit more effectively. Woodpeckers eat mainly insects. Uh, occasionally you find them eating clay. We have uh, ground woodpeckers in South Africa which actually live mainly in the soil and uh, build their burrows into banks and wet places like that. Most of our other woodpeckers live in holes in trees and they will actually be able to peck a hole in a piece of hard wood like this with their beaks and excavate, let's say the hole was there, they might excavate a chamber that deep and then have their nest at the base of it. So if you're tapping really hard wood, you need a head that's going to handle that. And they've got a special series of shock absorption systems inside their heads that enable them to basically not get knocked out every time they tap their beak against a tree. Really remarkable creatures. South Africa has several woodpeckers. There's the little cardinal woodpecker, um, the golden tailed. Uh, we have the olive woodpecker in the forests, uh, Bennett's, which spends much of its time on the ground a bearded woodpecker. So wherever you are in South Africa, if there are any trees around, if you listen carefully, you should hear and hopefully be able to see a woodpecker. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe below and make sure to check out Eco Training's channel for more great content like this.